Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Father's Day is coming up in a few weeks and so I thought it would be fun to make something for Father's Day and today we're gonna be making berry beer cakes by Heineken. These are fully edible and totally totally delicious. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get started. To make the chocolate can shells, I'm using Pepsi Cola cans because that's all I had on hand. You have to remove the top where the pull tab is using your can opener. Make sure that you don't cut yourself once you remove that portion. It's going to be really sharp, so be very careful. And then you have to wash these and make sure that you dry them thoroughly so there is no moisture inside. Now we're ready to melt the chocolate. I'm using white candy melts and I added some black candy melts to get a nice gray. Once the chocolate is melted, we're going to take several tablespoons and dump them into the can and then you're gonna swirl the can around almost as um, this was a truck with cement. If you ever seen a truck with cement, you know it's always turning so the cement doesn't harden and you're gonna do this with your cane. Check if the chocolate is covering all the sides and the bottom and add more chocolate. Make sure that you go all the way to the top then shake off some of the excess but don't go too crazy because you want the walls to be somewhat thick or you don't want them to be too thin so they're not gonna break easily. Now clean up the edge and then repeat as many times as you need. I'm going to stick these into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now to make the top portion I'm going to use a real can to make a template. Trace it on a paper and then you're gonna do the same thing with a pull tab. Take a piping bag and fill it with remaining grey chocolate. Darn it, I got chocolate all over the counter because I didn't check the tip of the piping bag that I had already trimmed for another project, so I had to start all over. Now we're ready to make the lids, so I lined my surface with wax paper underneath you can see the template give it a little shake to smooth out the chocolate and then repeat I'm going to let these harden for about 15 minutes before handling them. Now the chocolate in the can is all firm, so I'm going to remove the foil. I'm using X-Acto knife. When working with X-Acto knife, be super careful because blade is very, very sharp. Once you make the first cut, get your blade under so it's touching the chocolate underneath and also make sure that the blade, the sharp blade is facing away from you so you don't cut yourself. You're gonna have to go all around the bottom edge carefully peel of the foil. It's very sharp also so make sure that you handle it with care. Run a knife along the top edge and then this should uh, release the top quite easily. And if a little piece breaks don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how you can fix it.
On this chocolate can I had a top piece that broke off and I'm going to glue it back on, no big deal. Just use some melted chocolate and stick the piece there and then smooth it out. And if you want to make a different beer, like I'm making Heineken, but if you wanted to make a different beer, make sure that you use a different um, color chocolate uh, candy melts. Now I'm using silver luster dust and we're going to smother this can in the luster dust to give it a nice sheen. To make the lid I'm using a metal cookie cutter to cut out a perfect round so it fits nicely on the top from our chocolate uh, rounds. Very carefully press the edges of the chocolate to release it from the cookie cutter. Now use a little bit of chocolate to glue the pull tab onto the round. Now I made a mistake because Heineken can actually the pull tab is green so I was regretting it because I think it would have been really cool. but. Um, Regardless, I think these turned out really cute. So if you were to make Heineken, you can make the pull tab green and then brush it with some pearl luster dust instead of silver. And now it's time to make the filling. I'm using heavy cream, Greek yogurt, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, strawberry puree. I cooked the strawberries with a little bit of sugar. I pureed them in the food processor and I strained them for a fine mesh sieve. You're gonna need vanilla extract, some powdered sugar, granulated gelatin, and I'm also using cookies. These are butter cookies. You can also use graham crackers or lady fingers, whatever you have on hand. First, we're going to bloom the gelatin in a cold, strawberry puree. Stir it well so all of the gelatin is coated with strawberry puree and let it sit for about five minutes. Break the cookies into smaller pieces and set them aside. Now I'm going to microwave the gelatin for 10 seconds. Stir and you can rub the mixture between your fingers and if it's still grainy you're gonna microwave it for another 10 seconds until you feel no graininess until it's all smooth and then you can set it aside and let it cool a little bit to room temperature beat heavy cream until foamy and then start adding powdered sugar and then gradually add cooled strawberry puree Now you can fold in or whisk in yogurt. Now if you don't want to use yogurt, you can definitely substitute yogurt for heavy cream. I love tanginess in the yogurt, so that's why I'm using it. Don't forget to add vanilla extract, I didn't show that in a video. And now we're ready to pour this into the can. So I'm going to start with the strawberry mousse. We're going to add a little bit at the bottom and then we're going to layer in cookies and also fresh strawberries. I decided to add fresh strawberries. Strawberries are in season. I just picked up some at a local farm and they're so good. I love fresh strawberries and especially when they're in season. Full flavor and everything. Yum. So basically we are layering the strawberry mousse, cookies, fresh strawberries, more mousse, cookies, strawberries until you get to the top.
Now you can put the lids on the top and stick these into the refrigerator for about 4 hours or overnight. To finish these off I had edible images printed. They printed a little smaller than I would have liked but it's okay I'm still gonna use them. I got these at a local grocery store and it costs me 8 bucks per sheet. So you're gonna cut out the labels. So you're gonna remove the backing just uh, Get the knife under or the blade, some kind of a blade and uh, run it around along the edges and then flip it over. I'm using white chocolate as glue. I'm not using dark chocolate for one reason. It, there's a possibility it could seep through the label. So I wanted to make sure it's not gonna seep and I have white chocolate already melted. <laughs> So there is also a convenience. And now here is the nerve the racking situation. Carefully lift up the label and stick it onto the can. Cans have been chilled so the chocolate is going to harden very very quickly. So make sure that you align it and then press it along the edges and in the center so it sticks everywhere and ta-da! Your cakes are ready and now let's see what's inside. Inside is filled with delicious strawberry mousse, fresh strawberries and cookies. Berry beer Heineken cakes. Perfect for Father's Day. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will see you next time.